हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग एक शाम मस्तानी में आप सबका स्वागत है टुडे इंडीड इज़ ब्यूटीफुल इवनिंग आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग माय फिंगर्स क्रॉस इट डजेंट रेन बिकॉज आई हैव टू रन इनसाइड देन एंड इट्स द सन इज़ आउट एंड इट्स लवली आज हमारे गेस्ट हमारे मेहमान टुडे आर गेस्ट इज़ एन आउटस्टैंडिंग Uh, and a highly accomplished multiple award winning filmmaker and author a speaker and a life coach he is known for his films like jhalki kagaz ki kashti which is a biopic on jagjit singh and the national award winning biopic on the king of rhythm the genius melody maker r d barman called pancham unmixed mujhe chalte jana hai and he is right here with us Namaste hello welcome Namaste ji hello hello welcome yes good <laughs> to be so here much. Yes, Thank you so much yes pleasure is all ours Thank you so much for joining us and having this little chat and um, so I was just talking to you know uh, our friends here that um, you know pehle to aapka maine introduction diya that um, you know national award winning film hai Pancham Unmixed एंड सो हमारा क्या एक सोच है ना कि अच्छा डॉक्यूमेंट्री है तो थोड़ी स्लो होगी बोरिंग होगी बट लेट मी टेल यू गाइज ऑल हिज फिल्म आर हाईली इंगेजिंग दे आर ऑथेंटिक एंड दे आर एक्सट्रीमली सेंसिटिव एंड पंचम अनमिक्सड इज वन सच इमोशनल राइट दैट हैज टच द सोल ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी व्यूअर इट इज करंटली स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन बैंडा फिल्म फेस्टिवल यूट्यूब चैनल सो लेट्स बिगिन we welcome brahmanand s singh who is the director the writer the producer of pancham unmixed and um, i wanted to ask you brahmanand why biopics why documentaries and why specifically pancham and you know of course kagaz ki kashti is also a musical biopic but why really why you know biopics really kind of you know is your forte um I don't know forte or not, but yes, I I like exploring lives. There is no doubt about that. I like exploring lives because in the visible part of that, what we call genius and uh, success and you know whatever you call, which goes under the name of that gloss, there are a hundred and one trials, tribulations, uh, effort, perseverance, failures, disappointments. and how they deal with that how they navigate with all that and then come up trumps i think those are the things that differentiate uh, these uh, visible success from the uh, thousands others who don't reach that stage otherwise uh, i have seen so many people full of talents and not make it somewhere but these are some of the unsaid stories so it's great fun to explore why docu biopics yeah. in particular i like fiction also i do fiction also i do features also but i find that when uh, some known person is there then you know someone else playing him like i mean who will you expect to play amitabh bachchan you know i mean uh, ranbir kapoor played sanju that's a one off you know he pulled it yeah. up with great panache yeah. that's a great thing but Yeah. who do you think can play an abitab bachchan who do you think can play a rajesh khanna they will look like a little bit of you know yeah. mockery or comedy jaise imitate karte hain bahut sare to that takes away the whereas if you go for docu the the the, the that authenticity is much higher i know of asif kapadia london based filmmaker who's made amy the maradona all these yeah. films yeah Yeah. he does a very good job of it and i think the scope of of weaving a very par powerful par packed tight story is is always there even in docus i think what matters at the end is your storytelling ability how you weave the story how can you keep the audience one minute after another to another to another to another glue and like selman rushdie talks about writing that there are no Uh, there are no real rules you know the only rule overwhelming everything else is that if you can uh, make the reader turn page after page after page you have achieved it whether you have achieved yeah. a 
five x structure or three x structure yeah. or not those things happen anyway uh, if you go to analyze any piece of work so yeah. that's that in short is the answer about why docu why biopics and why life stories and why docu biopics in particular aap aapka baat karne ka tarika is also bahut therav hai you know so it's, it's a very like kind of restrained and a very um you know uh, well thought of so all your documentaries i mean i've seen pancham and it really resonates your personality also you know the way you have put together the entire research it's not just ki isne ye bola usne wo bola there is there is a flow to it and also i notice that there are a lot of close up shots like koi baat kar raha hai and suddenly the camera just kind of you know goes into their face and their eyes mm-hmm. and any particular reason that that was done yeah because uh, you are already dealing with a lot of limitations like that visual sweep that a feature yeah. film normally uh, yeah. gives yeah. you a better yeah. scope for mm-hmm. that is sometimes missing with films like these but then yeah. your face is a canvas you know yeah. your face is a yeah. frame and uh, yeah. your expressions your eyes the twitch of yeah. the lips and the emotions yeah. again yeah. what gets communicated is the emotion that's what yeah. is important yeah. so how you achieve yeah. it All, all, all filmmakers, all artists have different ways to achieve that. Yes. But if it is being achieved, the purpose, the end design, the end purpose is being met. So I, I very often see faces as a big canvas in terms of emotions, eyes, lips, yeah. the twitch, yeah. the yeah. joys, the sorrows, the happiness, yeah. the, the embarrassments, yeah. the, the. the silences the pauses those things i think are are great yeah. to explore it was just yeah i mean their emotions their their eyes were so moist some were talking some had so much joy and some were like intrigued and totally stunned with the way uh, you know um, they were they were narrating incidents on on panchanda and um, so this documentary is actually a crash course on the way uh, panchanda made his music and uh, it's actually a treat I mean, I, I'm, a, I was a big fan of Pancham Da when I was little, also because it, it the, his music really attracted, uh, even um, uh, you know, my school-going days. Uh, uh, you know, all my friends also, we were really drawn, and every party it was just you know his music playing. We had used to have day parties because हमें permission नहीं मिलती थी रात को बाहर जाने की. So, but it is actually a treat, you know, um, to watch this documentary, uh, this biopic. because everyone has something so unique to say and yet everything just falls into place you know so um i'm sure all the musicians and his you know the close aides and the friends and the fans must have been really very excited to be a part of uh, you know this journey and uh, you know everyone's insight seems so authentic so how was that like you know for you to uh, approach them so, and yeah yes yeah, so approaching was uh... well it has its share of problems but it's not that difficult but yeah get them getting them to talk in a way is uh, something that differs from people to people because everyone is very used to uh, question answers question yeah. answers and and yeah. i i rarely get into question answers there were a few who told me send me the question that you will ask me and i said i myself yeah. don't know what i'll ask you because yeah. it will depend on the conversation and uh, so i think that people were welcoming mostly uh, mm-hmm. a few of them who were not so welcoming they were very professional they would ask you what have you done what what do you plan to do and the moment they would sense a certain authenticity and a certain genuineness of purpose they would be very very cooperative except for 5% or 10% which is always the case so that was great fun Yeah. Uh, putting it together was uh, was a good exercise we went through ups and downs in fact a very close colleague of mine uh, we directed the film together preeti chandriani she is there on okay. the i can yes, see her yes, uh, yes i can see Hello, her preeti. thumbs up and yes yes she played a big role in every time we slipped okay, okay. every time we slipped in our enthusiasm or discipline so you know someone like her becomes a huge uh, collaborator because she keeps the spirit aloft she doesn't let you uh, 
you know because you go through disappointments you go through difficulties you go through frustrations all those things so i often say i said that making the film is not just knowing how to direct a right. film right making a film is uh, you know a combination of at least 10 to 15 to 20 key components of human life and work Yeah. If you know how to handle people, if you know how to manage yourself, if you know how to manage your crises, because there's no project where you won't run into trouble. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. So all That's those things. That's a given. And, and, yeah. Yeah. Anything. Anything big, and uh, you know they say that your dreams should be such that it should scare you uh, sometimes. So big. And yeah. uh, yes. So to take on something which is uh, larger than yourself, and yet. have the confidence to carry it it's always good because it challenges you it brings yeah. the best out of you and things like that absolutely i still have no idea what we did in that film which has worked so wonderfully <laughs> well i i well we did our best to make a good film and tell a powerful story about panchamda and it came with an understanding of his music and his life and there is no doubt about that but at absolutely. the same time like my own learning has grown Ten times after having made the film, after having made the film, during the process of the film, and also after having made the film, because the film has crossed four hundred invited screenings where I have been there. Yeah. Okay, where they have invited wow. the film and they have invited me, and we have indulged in a little bit of question and answer sometimes on a workshop. It became very interesting film by the corporates to. Yeah. Uh, to invite the film and then talk about it and then uh have workshops or q and a with me on leadership les- lessons so man management lessons so creativity you know how do you how do you get the best out of people how do you create yeah. magic yeah. how do you yeah. how what what all components what all elements do you mix together yeah. to create that yeah. magic how does yeah. magic happen sometimes yeah. how does and and these are all very closely related with a lot of management books like stephen covey for example you know now his seven habits is one of the very very celebrated books but so does this film on pancham give you insight into how yeah. do you create excellence you know how you don't bother yeah. about perfection and yet you create yeah. excellence and why those if you chase excellence yeah. everything else follows yeah. everything else falls yeah. in place yeah. so these are the kind of things that uh, happened and uh, i still don't have much idea about but <laughs> it's 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 it's, a, it's one of the most loved films uh, of is. all times I, i i would say indian express a, indian mm-hmm. express a few years back had shortlisted it among the 10 best films that you can uh, uh think of having in your collection based on music or musicians around so the world ac- yeah, across history and that was a huge compliment in some Absolutely. way yes so you know worked. it's not it works jaise yes. aapne bola that you know it's it's just you don't know how it happened i think it's just the sincerity and the passion with which you know you set out to achieve this what you know really caused the people sitting in front to really open up their lives you know the way they were sharing it was as though they were waiting that this ye film kab bane like usha utop you know uh, 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 i still remember like you know what she said was that the, there are beethoven has composed music bach has composed music mozart has composed but the way pancham did he used the notes that were around him and the way he composed was so unique out of bottles mehbooba you know that song out of bottles people were fooing into the bottle and everything around him was music nothing was apart ke ye instrument hai isse hame music banana hai jo cheez hai breathing tak ka unhone like you know he he took that as a note or as a you know a form of music so i think your sincerity really kind of transmitted in the people who you were interviewing and they just let out each and every person um it's such an emotional interview i main aapko kya batau like i like saw it again yesterday and i just started crying i'm really telling you it was just i don't know what happened 
when uh, you know the second half started when 1942 ki kahani shuru hui that's when it really hit me that you know oh i wish she was alive you know i wish she was there because he should have been around you know and what he went through but was this i'm sure it must have impacted you also being behind the camera was it an emotional um, kind of a ride for you as well yeah yeah very 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 strongly like uh, you know before this before this film i was uh, i was kind of like uh, well, we had made some good films before this but they were all in sh- on shorter scales ji and uh, a lot of work was commissioned work you know and here was something that i realized that if you do what you feel like doing what you want to do and one line from javed akhtar always helped me a lot that kadam uthao to manzil rasta ban jati hai so you have to take that step you know? step yeah the moment you take action the moment you take that step a lot of things fall in place i won't say everything falls in falls in place but a lot of things falls in place and mm-hmm. one thing leads to another to another to another yeah. so it's almost a life lesson and yeah. when i yeah. saw his life and the more i explored the more i think the combination of excellence and being a nice human being at heart being. yeah being a such a giving person such a loving person i think those things made a deep impact on me as well and i thought that if uh, there is if even 5% of it i could uh, you know learn and carry into the way i work or approach people or success or failure or anything i think i would have done very well and i think the, uh, that's how the film broke you that you had such a nice person you had and you know and at the same time you enjoy the journey you have yeah. fun you don't yeah. you don't you don't look at results as a, you don't Efforts. chase goals you yes. yeah you 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 flow with the journey and yeah. you reach the goal yeah. you know aajkal ka wo management principles jo hota hai na target goal ye wo <laughs> to wo sab followers uh, wo, uh, followers ha uh, followers <laughs> I mean you look at it it's 20 uh, you know it's 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 27 years after his death without any pr machinery yeah. any spend the yeah. kind of following and uh, we are talking about him nobody has paid you or me yeah. to 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 100%. go and talk one more about him Absolutely. nobody has paid the 10000 people who celebrated his birthday two days back you know True. so yeah. i think it's 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 that i mean he's he's one of the grandest example no pr machinery no yeah. no no yeah. no uh, agents you know and still his his popularity his fame is growing exponentially yeah. after his death absolutely, absolutely. and I, you know certain 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 inf- information was like revelations like um ye vaada raha ki gaane were not hit were not I was shocked. It was like, "Whoa, what happened here? How? What? What was that time?" But mm-hmm. um, it was it was such a wonderful uh, biopic, and I would really, uh, you know, request each and every person who's here and who's watching, who will watch this interview later, to please go and see this film. It is just outstanding. And you um, met him ever? Like, what? Uh, no, I. Like, I didn't meet him ever. So I always say that I always wanted to meet him. and uh, this was uh, this was a little out of the box effort to actually meet him through the people yes, he worked absolutely. with yes absolutely ek ek cheez ek ek cheez unhone bataya like i was yeah. it was wonder no wonder it was two hours one hour yeah. and 15 minutes so yeah. like aap dikhaoge kya itni der but then it was, I, i just didn't want it to end <laughs> yeah. i always say that it it was it was a very expensive Uh, ticket for a film <laughs> film that i wanted to see yeah you know. yeah wonderful because so let me just read a few uh, comments so uh, swanik yeah, yeah, here yeah. says thoroughly inspired by learning about such a visionary through bandra film festival hats off to adi burman he invigorates a fighting spirit in me and this oh, this yes. boy swanik is just in his 20s 
he's mm-hmm. just a 20 year old so what jo aapne abhi bola is like you know now it's it's like timeless it's spanning across generations yeah, even yeah. now they can't Absolutely. bind his music and preeti yeah, yeah. singh brahma it was your passion with the film that made it work mm. that's what she said i know but preeti had a big role yes preeti yes thank you so much preeti yes for supporting and being such a integral part of pancham unmixed yeah i know such a brilliant film cannot be made you know it has to be made with a team effort Absolutely. and everybody's Absolutely. unique individual efforts so also uh, guys uh, brahmanand has been given um, an award by the united nations for uh, you know making socially impactful films he's also a life coach um abhi aap uh, you know you do conduct workshops on filmmaking and also on pitching on pitching to the platform mm-hmm. so i mm-hmm. read somewhere kahin maine padha yeah so i, I li- yes. yes i i i, I like um, um, i mean it's something that has happened over a period of time in a natural way with 10% of my time going on anyone who wants ideas you know tips and you know we uh, how to navigate this how to navigate that i would very happily give to others youngsters yes. because when i was learning when i was in my formative years others did the same thing to me so that's the simplest way for me to to pay back to the next generation or to and when i say next generation i'm not talking about age it can be 17 year old can be 47 year old yeah. doesn't make anybody who who wants a little bit of know how which i may have which i can help so i like the idea of mentoring it helps people yeah. and uh, i had realized when uh, i had that workshop on uh, on on pitching in a way uh, was that a lot of people have ideas a lot of people have ideas but they are bereft of a know how of today's world especially in the way things have changed in the last 3 to 5 years ji about yeah. what it means to make a project market ready yeah and by market ready i mean in a way that when you reach out to people people give you a serious listening mm. and people then either commission you or they fund your project anybody can yeah. do anything but yeah. but they, but you yeah. need yes but you need to navigate those yeah 9 months 9 yeah. months yeah. of development yeah. in the if, if anybody said that no uh, you know with nine different uh, let me be in the tummy of nine different mamas and you know i'll do it in one month it's not possible so sometimes it takes two to three months at least four months sometimes five six months sometimes to develop and nurture a project yeah. to reach it to the point yeah. where now you can go and meet people i've seen many people get frustrated because yeah. they get turned down and that's only because it's very shoddy it's very slip shot right. so that is where i started uh, doing those workshops and i mm. do consult mm. people also in yeah. that area okay. where okay. you bring an idea to me and i'll assess and say at what stage is it and where it needs to go and what all you need to do yeah. and how to do that so yeah. so these are all you know resultant yeah. things yeah. that keeps on happening but uh, yes It's so wonderful to have somebody who can mentor you. you know, yes, because yes. Because we're in a living in a time where there is a boom of you know content. Like everybody has so much inside, and they just want to get out, get it out, and you know write and narrate a story, tell a story. So to really come for it to come to fruition, you know, like otherwise it will just remain in somebody's head. Is yes. we really do need a direction forward and. Uh, uh, you know, yes, uh, we do need somebody who can help us through and guide us through. So, guys, do follow uh, Brahmanand and his. Uh, he has another account called Mobius Films. That's his uh, production house. And uh, for more updates on his workshops and his classes. And um, lastly, up, the future projects. If you can reveal something, that what can we expect yeah, now coming yeah. from you? <laughs> Well, I can see a very good, you know, friend again. Someone who I got to know through through the film only, Mimi Segal. She is herself a marvelous right. dancer and a lovely oh, human being. Oh, lovely! Mimi yes, Segal. and uh, I I I got to know her through, you know, many screenings of this film. She has attended, I think, more than one uh, okay. through common friends. Yes, and uh, I feel that you know, the 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 future projects that. we have i have a few very very powerful big films feature films mm-hmm. 
um one of them is against is a love story of a young punjabi sikh soldier against the backdrop of 1917 world war oh, first world war wow. yes wow. to be shot in paris and punjab so that is okay. one big one i have a couple of other films uh, which are there lined up in different stages one uh, we should have gone into shoot but is somewhere stuck because of this covid and then uh, and the dates that we had planned have all gone haywire things like that so but i'm 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 the but but where i i'm very very excited and keen is to do some more docu biopics yes you know, please biographical film yes yes please so i feel <laughs> that i feel i feel that overall we are a country of very poor archivers you know we don't know how to archive our heritage our legacies and my heart is a lot into capturing legacies these are, these are all our legacies you know yes yes Yes, the absolutely. way the the way I have tried to capture Adi Burman or or Jagjit Singh, Ji. there are yeah you know dozens of biggest names about whom we don't know anything anything Re- yeah. really anything when I yeah. mean anything I I know that I mean if you take Ratan Tata if you take Narayan Murthy we we all know that okay they are very successful industrialists and you know yeah. tech people and all but we have. no idea about the ups and downs and Up, the yeah. and the micro story yeah. the micro histories yeah. of of yeah. of of yes. how they navigated what and yes. what challenges came up and yes. how they managed it Absolutely. and i feel that if we uh, create films like these the then it it becomes an inspiration for the next generation yes and uh, and generations the next generation needs inspiration Absolutely. because inspiration becomes a tool for motivation inspiration is change in thinking motivation is change in action absolutely so if change in thinking happens change in action yeah. follows yeah. and i think that uh, that's what films like these do it touches an emotional chord it opens yeah. up your mind it yeah. ventilates your mind in a big way wow and uh, you suddenly start thinking that why can't i do this yeah. why haven't i dreamt like this yeah. or the way i am complaining about life yeah. do i have too much of sense of entitlement you know should i throw away my sense of entitlement and just go ahead and do things if you do 10 things you are bound to succeed in 3 it's impossible that you will fail in all 10 and if you fail in all 10 so be it it's great great the 11th one will be yes absolutely 11, exactly exactly absolutely. yes wonderful it is indeed a mastani sham i'm so happy it didn't rain and yes. my network issues didn't fail me but um, l- like you so rightly said you know my take back from this interview is to like how these films ventilate your mind you know it really the the back and absolutely. forth is so absolutely. important the up and absolutely. down back and forth the cleansing yes. everything is so important and how you know your film is inspiring so many people like uh, you know this person deshmukh rajiv is saying that pancham biopic is my most viewed film I must have seen it 35 to 40 times, and each time I have seen a new pancham. Remarkable storytelling by Rama sir. So, he's seen uh, both this one and the Ardi Burman film, and, uh, and, and the Jagjit Singh film. Jagjit Singh. He's himself a big Jagjit and Ardi fan, and uh, he, he's again someone you know who keeps pushing me for. doing so many other things yeah. he's he's very keen that yeah. we do a film on varghese korean we do a film on rishi kapoor he's very very oh, keen on that yes how nice and, uh, that would yes. be so good that would yeah. be lovely my father always wanted to meet jagjit singh also he saying you know i'll call him for one of your weddings i have a younger brother but hum dono ki shaadi ho gayi sab ho gaya bachche ho gaye but jagjit singh se nahi mila ka to to ek aadh baar aur kar lete shaadi to kabhi na kabhi aa jate next life i think next time yes <laughs> next life me <mein. laughs> yes but uh, truly please continue making and jaise aapka film ka title hai pancham unmix mujhe chalte jana hai we all must remember because it's not just these are not words these are life lessons that chalte jana hai you know no matter what and that's what yeah, you are doing uh, brahmanand sir you are uh, you know inspiring and encouraging and ventilating the minds of the viewers and please continue to do so thank you so much and i must tell you 
that the film and of, of course the audience also our viewers our friends that the film went live on bandra film festival 3 days ago and it's all it's the viewership is 17000 uh, wow. views till now and counting Lovely. so it will be Lovely. streaming till another 3 months so do catch it and um, leave your comments also so brahma sir will definitely catch those comments on youtube yes. our youtube channel thank you Lovely. so much thank you thank, thank you, you so bahut, much bahut shukriya aapka thank, thank you so thank much you. enjoy have your films do well and have yes. your festival do well thank, thank you, you. abhi aapki ek aur yeah. film aane wali hai uh, in a few days uh, ah, riding on I a sunday riding on a sunday that's right Looking that's again that. yeah, yeah, yeah yes these are all you know not very regular films but they are such interesting films for yes. anyone who sees it like that one shows india in a very non touristy eyes yeah <laughs> through through yeah. the eyes of a veteran backpacker and yeah. uh, an american girl who has never seen india so we get two completely different perspectives yes, and yeah. it it makes for very interesting storytelling we will ventilate so, our minds good. with your movies thank you thank you so much good. please take care thank you so much take stay care. safe thank you. thank you all the bye best bye. Thank, thank you, you.